everybody, Norm, and I want to introduce you to an old friend and a great guy and a great guitar player and a great musician. And he, uh, back in the day when I was playing in L.A., I mean, we were, you know, he went on to good things. I went on to selling <laughs> guitars. I figured out what I could do well, but this guy can do a lot of stuff well. But you got to check this out. I don't need all of this, but just because I'm a little senile, check out some of the people that he's played with. This is Smokey Hormel. And he played with Adele. Beck, R.L. Bernstein, Johnny Cash, Neil Diamond, John Doe, The Dixie Chicks, Steve Earle, Josh Groban, Marianne Faithful, Wanda Jackson, Mick Jagger, Katie Lang, Sean Lennon, Jennifer Nettles, Beth Orton, Kid Rock, Joe Summer, Justin Timberlake, Rufus Wainwright, and Tom Waits. And this is just part of it. I mean, his uh, resume is uh, is pretty cool. I think you've done all right, right? You know, so uh, uh, yes, yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> a local local boy makes good, does good. So, um, and Smokey is just one of the great, you know, authentic, you know, blues, R and B, um, you know. Country, you know, country swing. I mean, you know, he does all kinds of stuff, and you know, you bring him in for insurance. So, uh, yeah, play a little something for me. A second. Okay. Uh, here's a little. I'll play a little Brazilian country music. Expanding his horizons, but a little hard. Our, our ball, uh, listen, because when I knew him, he was like the blues man and kind of you know R&B blues. Stuff. Blues wannabe. Nah, bullshit. Play, play a little bit of blues right. stuff for me. to your fire let me stand next 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 to your fire Smokey, 
<laughs> this guy has played with so many people, and the reason they call him is because they know you want to get it done. You call Smokey, and you're living. <laughs> if you in want New York. that out of tune sound, call me. <laughs> yeah, no, that's me. That's my gig. Sorry, you can't have that gig. Uh, tell me something. So you're living in New York. You play Wednesdays York. where now? I play every Wednesday at a club, at a bar called Sonny's Bar in Red Hook, Brooklyn, which is a cool neighborhood. It's a neighborhood bar. It's a small place. People, uh, all different kinds of people, all different ages, and uh, they like to dance and get loose and. We play Western Swing, Boogie Woogie, Blues, some Bo Diddley. Cool. We, ha we have oh, Bo yeah. Diddley in common. So. Absolutely. I played with uh, Bo a little bit, too. Yeah, you know, so yeah. In fact, buddy, King Cotton. when you see King Cotton again, you have to thank him for me because I still cherish the memories of that tour I did with him and Bo Diddley. It, it was one of the life-changing experiences for me. Well, I, when I played with him, it was really cool, too. And, and the thing that was really, uh, one thing that I'll never forget, he, you know, we were playing at the Santa Monica uh, outdoors at Santa Monica Pier, and there was thousands of people. And before the show, uh, Bo was backstage, and Rudy Ray Moore was there. You know, oh my Rudy, God! The Dolomite. Wow! And they were like doing these, you know, dirty dozens. Back oh and forth no! Over. And it was basically, yeah, your mother's so ugly, she got to sneak up on a glass of water yeah. and stuff like that. And they were hysterical. I mean, oh, it was wow. one of the funniest things that I ever heard. And what Rudy Ray Moore was just a character. And I had sure. a radio show with King years ago, and Rudy was one of our uh, wow. regulars on the show. And he, if you don't know who the Dolomite is. Oh, I mean, wow. <laughs> he was some kind of character. Don't, don't listen to it when the kids are around, though. Yeah, no, no, it's a, it's a little blue. So, uh, but, uh, you know. But, but yeah, was Bo, a, Bo was definitely, you know, he, he, he was a very versatile guy. I mean, sure, he invented a whole style of guitar playing. But more than that, he wrote some killer songs. He was a great singer. And, I mean, he sang doo-wop. He sang With the moon blows, because, I mean, you know, when he did like this... Uh, the stew op stuff. When we backed them up, we had three really good singers in the band, and we did this doo op thing. I was actually, I originally was playing keyboards in the band, but I ended up playing bass. And when I played with Bo, I played bass, which I'm not a good bass player, but I know how to stay out of the way, is what I did. You know? <laughs> and uh, so he has a tune called I'm Sorry, which is a great doo op tune. Right. <laughs> so we had all the harmonies worked out and everything. And Bo, you know, that's a t you know, Bo would end up with these pickup bands, and most of them could barely play, you know, the regular Bo Diddley stuff. Yeah. And that was a little bit more, you know, intricate. And we had all the harmonies worked out, and Bo kind of looked over and went, "Holy shit!" You know. Yeah. That, so I had a similar experience with King. You know, Bo did not want to do any of his songs with us. It took him a while to sort of warm feel up. Feel comfortable. To us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but King man, is a great musicologist, great. and he loves the R and B and blues and all that. Stuff. Yeah, and he, I mean, he, King Cotton's one of those guys who's he's committed. Like, we, you know, well, it's the first be time. committed, but he's committed. <laughs> but you know, the band, we all had to wear black turtlenecks, and it was like, you know, we took it seriously. We had to learn the songs. He even had his daughter, I think, um, transcribe some of the lyrics. And Bo's she, daughter, because no, Bo's no. daughter played drums with us sometimes. She, she was, was amazing. Yeah. yeah, she when she when she sat in with us, our bass player, he turned bright red. He was so like, oh my god, she's she cute can play. And she could play. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was so, terrific. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah. Well, all I can say is it's the local boy makes good. Because this guy, <laughs> you know, he was out here playing the clubs. And all of a sudden, every, I kept hearing him, do you know Smokey played with Adele? I'm going, really? <laughs> and Smokey played with Beck, yeah. Smokey played with Justin Timberlake, yeah. Smokey played with Johnny Cash, huh? Yeah. Smokey played with Wanda Jackson, huh? You know, and it was like over and over and all these styles. And, you know, and it was just, it was great to hear that you you're doing so good and oh, uh, Smokey did our one of our podcasts that we have in the can and September 17th our podcasts are going to go up and they're free you go wherever you get your podcasts it's really cool and the following week if you want to see our faces you can see it exclusively on the All Guitar Network and that's the oh, only cool. place that you can see it so um, you know you can hear it 
See in our faces? I don't know. That's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's questionable. But I think people are going to dig it. And we really had a great time. And it was Smokey and my buddy Kirk Fletcher. And Kirk, Kirk. can really play. Awesome. Kirk's an old buddy of yours. Yeah. And when these two guys played together, man, it was stunning. Oh, so yeah. I'm so, so proud of that. So great to see you. And I'm glad to see you out here. Yeah, and, uh, me too. Came out here for some of the hot weather, I know. But <laughs> yeah. at least a little less humidity than there is back in Yeah, New York that's right for now. sure. So uh, the great Smokey Hormel, you know, whenever you look him up, how can people see you online if people want to? I'm, I'm not on social media. Just go to my website, SmokeyHormel.com, and any show dates will be up there. But uh, Well, you're on social media now. Yeah, I'm, Sorry I'm, about that. I am <laughs> on it now. But uh, no, I don't have my own Facebook page, so that's good. I'm, I'm safe. <laughs> well, all I can tell you is you should because, I mean, I was against it in the beginning. And really, I mean, it's amazing how it's opened so many doors for us. It's really Help yeah, business and, no, it's you know, you can promote your shows and you can do whatever you want. But you know, the thing is, when you got someone you can play great like you, and <laughs> you know, it helps because people just seem to find it. So, when you come out here, I got to have your word that you'll come out here and do more videos for absolutely. Us and stuff. I would like and to. it's really it. And so, I'm Thank so you. glad to see you again. And he's uh, by the way. This guitar here, don't bother calling for it because Smokey just bought yeah, it. Yeah, I just bought this sucker. <laughs> yeah, so 64 D18. Yeah. Oh, lay. <laughs> no, I'm not going to get it. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Smokey. I wouldn't be surprised if I had some bagpipes. You could probably play them, too. <laughs> The Thank great you. Smokey Hormel. Thank you guys Thank you. for watching and thank you, Smokey. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, Norm.